The following is an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network. Jonathan Dern from the NCCU Sports Network, live from NCCU Fall Camp. We're here on the defensive side of the ball now. We're going to talk about the cornerbacks and the safeties. Last year, Coach Mack brought in a 4-2-5 system. We're here with the second year. Let's go ahead and talk about how the cornerbacks and safeties have been able to get it done so far during practice. We'll start talking about the cornerbacks. We have Mike Jones coming back this year. Uh, talk about how he's been able to get it done during practice so far. Uh, Mike has been very uh, focused on his techniques. He's been given a 100% effort. Everything that we would ask him to do, he's going ahead and doing. He's trying to get better so he can go ahead and maintain the level of play that he played last year with. An all an all conference player. How has he been able to impact the other players during practice so far? Uh, a lot of those guys uh, want to compete with him. Uh, that's the big thing about our room. Nobody has a big head. Everybody's in there thinking about being the next guy in. So he knows that if he comes out here and he halfway goes, somebody else is going to replace him. So that right there impacts the room. That's turning up their intensity. At the same time, those guys are very competitive. They feel like they're better than him. So they want to get on the field. So he's got to keep it going. And all his accolades just forces them to say, hey, it's going to be hard to replace him. So they keep Keep coming harder as well. Who are some of the other players that you've been keeping an eye on so far during practice, and who should the Eagles and the Eagle fans be looking out for during the season? Uh, we have a healthy Ryan Smith this year. Ryan Smith started on the other side of Mike Jones last year with a uh, sports hernia, played every game, played hard, uh, and now that he's healthy, he's coming out his breaks a lot better. We got uh, second year Michael Martin doing very well. Uh, he's my number three corner right now today. And then we're in a, a battle for that number four spot between uh, second year uh, Nolan Corpening. We transferred no, uh, Tony Tate over from wide receiver to corner this year. We got Kelvon Davis, who was a special team assassin coming back at the corner position. So we expect, uh, we got a lot of uh, veteran leadership and we have a true freshman coming in, uh, Justin Blango, that everybody needs to keep their eye on for too. Uh, let's flip it over to the safeties now. We have C.J. Moore coming back. How has he been able to get it done so far this year during practice? Well, uh, Jonathan, first of all, thank you. And uh, I want to say thanks to Coach Mack for giving me the opportunity to be the uh, safeties coach and defensive coordinator at NCCU to mentor our, these young men. Uh, C.J.'s been great. You know, he's showing that leadership quality that we expect and that he's always carried himself. He's having a pretty good camp, been very consistent. Uh, well, what I admire most about him is he's trying to get the younger guys to come along, and uh, that's where we're going to benefit from. The younger guys, how's he been able to lead them so far during practice? Well, you know, uh, we got Shaquille Taylor, who's a Southeast Raleigh product. Uh, alumni there, high school, uh, they're a couple, some years apart, but uh, he's taken Jaquel and mentored him well, as well as uh, Javon King and some of the other, Alden McClellan, who's not practicing right now, but, you know, he's mentored those guys real well, kind of getting them acclimated to our system and everything we do, and uh, that's going to pay dividends down the road, I'm sure. Coach Eastman, as the defensive coordinator, we've talked about this 4-2-5. Take us a bit inside of that and about how it works from a fan's point of view. Well, you know, from a fan, fan's point of view, it's it's just really more about personnel than, 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 than anything else. I think from time to time, week to week, you may you may not recognize it. There might be something else we're, we're gradually involving. You know, of course, going from year one to year two, and uh, we, we've experimented with some things in the offseason. We've tweaked some things. We've continued to build on what we already have. So, you know, I would just look at the 4 2 5 more as a personnel. We feel it gives us good matchups, um, you know, with the advent of a lot of spread teams these days. But as far as scheme and those sort of things, uh, I, I wouldn't hang my hat on one thing or the other. You might see us in the odd front 3-4 uh, uh, one week. You might see us in 4-3. You might see us in 6-2 uh, a whole other week. So it's hard to tell. All right, Coach, and who are some of the players from the safeties that you're – going to be keeping an eye on and who should the fans be looking out for when the season rolls around? Well, you know, we mentioned C.J. Moore, and, and uh, you know, he'll be there for us again, I'm sure of it. God willing, no injuries and everything, he'll be fine. I think Devontae Reynolds, you know, a young man that, that was a redshirt freshman last year, we're expect, expecting some big things from. He's had a good camp, and he's continuing to improve. Theo Levingson brings some added leadership and game experience. Tony Williams has had a good you know, fall camp so far after being in a backup role for the last, you know, few years. And like I mentioned, you know, Jaquel Taylor, some young man, Trevon King is getting better. And, uh, you know, we have a couple, too, that just wait in the wings. We'll know by next week, you know, how far we can get these guys ready. But uh, really excited about the leadership quality and, and experience we have in the safety position, as well as uh, some of the, um, you know, upcoming freshmen, younger players. Well, the defensive shell is ready to go for the start of the season. We'll be back with more right here on the NCCU Sports Network. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.